El ODI nos, nos presentará los nuevos formatos para concretización y seguimiento del pacto de paz. El ODI, pues, pues. Um, so I'm going to present, uh, I'm sorry my presentation will not be uh, very uh, interesting as the other ones I guess because I don't have beautiful pictures and I'm um, more talking about schools and uh, recording frameworks and uh, so um, I hope I will, uh, <laughs> it's not going to be too boring. Um, I'm going to give a bit of a background because I'm not sure um, like everyone in the room knows about what I'm talking about so I hope I won't use uh, too many arguments. So, uh, the Covenant of Mayors uh, Initiative is a, a, an initiative by the European Commission. Um, currently, there are uh, 6,176 signatories committed. So, uh, these are cities that have uh, voluntarily committed to uh, reducing their CO2 emission by uh, 20% by uh, the year 2020. This represents one third of the EU population. Um, Currently, and uh, I looked this morning. Actually, we have 3,999 sustainable energy action plans adopted. Uh, so I guess today we will have like uh, more than 4,000 uh, cities that have an uh, energy action plan uh, under the Common Domains Initiative. And the um, main message, the main uh, interesting fact, is actually that uh, these cities uh, they committed to, uh, on average, to a 30% CO2 emission reduction. So they have uh, more ambitious goals than uh, the uh, European Union, and uh, they are usually like uh, more ambitious than uh, their member states. So this is a very positive uh, message from the uh, local and regional authorities in Europe. So uh, really, like, uh, what uh, what do they commit to? So the first step is a political commitment where the mayor, the uh, city council, decides to sign up uh, to this initiative. <laughs> Within one year, normally, um, the, uh, the city uh, needs to submit uh, its uh, sustainable energy action plan. This sustainable energy action plan actually includes, um, let's say, three main documents. Uh, the first one is an emission inventory, which means that this is the energy picture of uh, the city, uh, the energy consumption, uh, local energy production of the city. Um, and then uh, there is a document um, outlining the actions that the city uh, will take uh, to reduce uh, its uh, CO2 emission. And uh, to have, let's say, like a, a common framework and a reporting framework, uh, the third document is what we call the CIA template, so the Sustainable Energy Action Plan template, where a summary of these actions are reported um, in, a, in a standard uh, uh, format. And then um, the results uh, need to be monitored to actually demonstrate that this uh, 20% or 30% uh, reduction has been achieved uh, by 2020. So about uh, the methodological framework, um, the initiative follows an integrated approach, uh, working both on energy demand side and energy supply side. What needs to be included uh, in uh, the inventory and uh, in, in the plan, in the action plan, actually, it's um, um, all sectors on the territory of the municipality, so building, equipment, facilities, but not just uh, municipal buildings, it's also uh, residential buildings, uh, tertiary building, commercial. Same for the transport, not only uh, public transport or the transport managed by the municipality, but also the private transport, commercial transport. For industries, we're a bit more flexible, um, it's optional, uh, same for waste, it uh, can be also optional even though it, it's recommended. And uh, local energy production uh, for, let's say like the, really the local one, not the big uh, uh, energy production tanks. And so uh, all the emissions, the direct emissions uh, uh, have to be reported and uh, be uh, indirect as well. So, uh, the principles, as I mentioned, an integrated approach with a long term uh, planning and uh, stakeholder involvement. As I, say, as I was saying, not only working on uh, the municipal um, buildings or municipal transport, but also trying to involve the uh, citizen uh, commercial uh, sector. 
to be uh, able to achieve this uh, this uh, twenty percent target. And um, to um, do so, uh, the choice of tools to make this plan uh, to uh, let's say like do this inventory is uh, is flexible. Of course, we have uh, developed as a governmental mayor's uh, initiative, let's say. Uh, Documents, technical documents uh, that uh, are based on existing methodologies and, uh, around Europe. But the, the, the choice of tools and models is uh, flexible, uh, it, it does uh, respect uh, this principle. The only, uh, let's say, uh, annoying thing is uh, if, um, if uh, you use a methodology, uh, let's say, sometimes a local or national methodology, sometimes you need to do uh, some more calculation and split some. Uh, some uh, some um, reasonable for some action of some sectors that you might not uh, fund them uh, exactly the same way, so it has to get some adaptation. So the aim is really to have a common uh, reporting framework, uh, EU-wise, so uh, that it's both like big cities but also villages and uh, every single country in Europe. Um, so south, north, east, west. So it's quite challenging. So um, this uh, common reporting framework is uh, called the CIA Packet. Um, so it's a standard reporting framework that uh, summarizes the key data of the Sustainable Energy Action Plan. So we have like all the categories of sectors like uh, municipal buildings, uh, social buildings, reduction of buildings, and all the uh, electricity, uh, all the uh, energy target. Um, this reporting tool uh, allow, um, allows us, when I say us, is the government and its office, uh, but also the uh, Joint Research uh, Center, uh, which is the technical laboratory of the European Commission in charge of evaluating uh, this, um, uh, these, uh, these action plans. It allows us to analyze the data and uh, and uh, get statistics and generate statistics uh, at European level. So uh, this will feed, let's say, this will uh, feed uh, the work of uh, the European Commission, and uh, it will help, uh, let's say, like shape uh, EU directive, EU policies in terms of uh, energy. Because we have that right now, we have this huge database, six thousand uh, cities, four thousand plants, uh, EU wise, EU wide. Um, where you have all these uh, uh, data that are uh, locally, uh, locally produced, let's say. It's not uh, coming from, uh, from the national, uh, from, a, from the countries, but it's, it's coming from population at the local level. So it might, it might not be the most accurate data, but, I, but it's like the one that is locally gathered. So what is reported? Uh, the overall strategy, so the targets, which can be like 20 percent, but also like uh, more than 20 percent. Mm -hmm. um, uh, where is the staff allocated? Uh, where, are they, where is the budget allocated? Uh, where, where is it coming from? Is it uh, the finance or action? And uh, this by just by municipal budget, or do you use EU funds, EU projects, uh, this kind of data, let's say? Um, final energy consumption by sector and by energy career. Uh, the CO2 emission factors for each uh, energy career, if you use a, a, the IPCC approach, SEA approach, um, the local energy production, uh, the CO2 emission by sectors and by energy career, and then the key actions uh, where you will estimate um, also the cost of the implementation of the action, the, of course, the energy savings. Um, and the sales to emissions uh, reduction. So, uh, this is what happened in the last uh, five years. Uh, but uh, we, this is a, an evolving movement, an evolving initiative. So, uh, now we're in 2013, 2014. We're in the phase where we have to develop uh, like the next step, let's say, like the monitoring templates uh, to monitor the actions of all these uh, 4,000. Um, Cities. Uh, so, to do so, uh, we unfortunately had to uh, revise a bit uh, the, the templates. 
So for those uh, of you who uh, know what I'm talking about, uh, so we have a new version of this uh, CR template. For the newcomers, it doesn't change much for you because you, you're just going to use that one. So it's supposed to be more user-friendly uh, with uh, uh, real-time notifications and some uh, automatic uh, data calculation um, with uh, real-time feedback, which means that before um, uh, you have to wait for a feedback uh, by the Joint uh, Research Center of Youth Information, maybe you have to wait around, I don't know, um, eight, nine months. So uh, we try to, automa to automatize a bit of the process so that you have like real-time feedback. Um, and so you don't have to wait for uh, nine months and then uh, find out that uh, you made some uh, like stupid calculation uh, mistakes or uh, you forgot to tick some boxes. So this, is, uh, this one has been launched uh, during uh, this summer. So what is written down uh, here, actually, it's more of a wish list. Because uh, to be honest, uh, it's still not perfectly uh, working. So uh, this is uh, on our wish list, let's say, for Christmas. Um, and um, so uh, if you're interested in, uh, let's say, like uh, this, uh, this uh, document, we have it uh, right now uh, in, a, uh, in a PDF format where you can see actually what, what it looks like and what are the fields. So um, you can see that, as I was saying, you have the overall strategy and uh, you have like yellow bubbles that indicates what has been changed uh, compared to uh, the previous format. And for the newcomer, of course, it uh, also gives some uh, indication of uh, what are the fields of uh, uh, that needs to be uh, filled in. Um, yeah, it's not very clear on, uh, on, on, I guess on the screen, but it's all available on our website. So, um, now um, we also revise this uh, CF template to make sure that uh, the, it fits, let's say, the new monitoring template. So the, uh, the um, what is the uh, what is the uh, yes value is that if you have this uh, new CR template, then uh, the monitoring template is pre-filled. So most of the let's say the administrative parts of the text fills, not the numbers, but most of the text fills that you uh, that you had input that you did input so previously in the CR template uh, will be uh, pre-filled in the monitoring templates. So you have still the, uh, the three uh, categories where you have this overall strategy. Of course, you can edit if you uh, if you uh, have like I don't know a higher ambition. Um, and uh, you have the parts where you have your actions um, that are also pre-filled, but uh, editable. And uh, um, what what is uh, expected uh, from uh, the cities is that they state if these actions are. Ongoing, completed, uh, not started, uh, debate with some explanation. It should be quite, let's say, like a, a easy, um, easy document to fill in. Um, the only uh, thing, let's say, that might be a bit more challenging in this uh, part three is uh, to assess if the action has been completed. Is to assess uh, what what is your uh, real energy uh, saving achieved. And um, the, let's say like the most uh, 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 time-consuming uh, part, of course, is to do a new uh, emission inventory. So you started the city started with uh, an emission inventory uh, from the um, of a baseline year, which might be uh, not like the year 2000, for example. And uh, to monitor the result achieved, of course, uh, there needs to be a new one done. Uh, this uh, it's exactly the same as uh, the same template, the same format as uh, this uh, uh, baseline emission inventory. It is just called the uh, monitoring emission inventory, so you have A and A, and uh, it's uh, it's exactly the same uh, document. Um, the let's say like the new features is uh, uh, that for this one you don't need an approval from the city council. Even though it's uh, recommended, let's say it's always better to uh, to present uh, like let's say a state of action uh, at uh, in front of the uh, whole uh, city uh, council, and you have no regulation by uh, the joint research center or uh, or by the county mayor's office. 
And so every two years, uh, you just need to uh, the city just needs to report on uh, this like the state of uh, completion of the actions. And only every four years after submitting uh, the action plan, the city needs to do a quantitative uh, reporting and, and so filling this uh, monitoring and additional inventory. Um, so yeah, every two years uh, it's uh, my overall strategy and my sustainable energy action plan and every four years you need to add this uh, emission inventory. Yeah, so this is the, um, we have many documents, so for example, if you have uh, questions, uh, uh, we have documents, so this is just a graph, this is maybe not useful for today, but there are uh, technical documents that explain you, um, if you, if the city already has submitted an action plan, uh, should it uh, resubmit a new action plan or not, what is the implication, uh, what, is, um, what is the advantage and disadvantage? Um, what is coming up? Uh, it's uh, um, for the end of 2014. It's uh, there will be like a, a, a live essay publishing of some uh, graphs based on the data collected. So the city can uh, will always be able to choose uh, to display it or not. But uh, there will be uh, let's say like a um, aggregate data later on and uh, display in a, in a let's say, more attractive format um, to show let's say, the energy profile of the city and also like a result achieved in a more attractive way. And I, I repeat here, it's, so this means that so potentially you will have like, this result for the current uh, 4,000 cities that have already submitted their uh, sustainable energy action plan. And uh, we have more and more coming, so which means that also as a citizen or as a, as a let's say like an energy expert, you might be interested in a, a, what is a, the city doing, and so you, you will find uh, this result available on our website. Um, what will be new in 2015-2016? So um, we hope to uh, um, enhance, let's say, like uh, the exchange of information. Uh, between uh, all these cities in Europe. So um, we will uh, set up a, a possibility to, uh, to upload technical materials uh, on our website, which means that uh, especially if, uh, if local authorities have developed uh, some documents in, uh, in, uh, in their national language, they will be available uh, on, uh, on this uh, password protected area of, uh, of the Government of Mayor's website. And uh, for projects that have uh, projects like that are acting on cap energy, uh, that have interesting documents in several languages, this would be also like an additional way to promote what you're doing and to uh, make a more uh, local and regional authorities benefit from the result of such projects. Um, so we hope it's going to improve also the exchange of experience. Um, and then we are, um, for the moment, uh, like the, let's say like the uh, authorities engaged in the government of Menace are local authorities, so cities and municipalities, but also um, regions and a network of uh, uh, local and regional authorities. But, uh, we have now uh, opened, let's say, like uh, this, uh, this network, and we are extending uh, to uh, including local and regional energy agencies. So this is uh, uh, really important uh, to me, especially uh, as Federal, because uh, we uh, we found out that forty percent of uh, of uh, regions are uh, and provinces are relying on their. Uh, uh, energy agency to actually support uh, the municipalities in developing their uh, action plan. So um, we have been struggling to uh, make peaceful uh, knowledge uh, by the European Commission and uh, it's open as of now. So we are really happy. And uh, then also uh, there are many students, many universities that are uh, contacting us to get data. Uh, and to uh, do some research to contribute to PhD students. So we will also try to make use of these resources. Uh, European students, let's say, that are really interested, who are really interested in this topic, university, who want to do uh, some research 
on uh, um, global energy policies, uh, and uh, it would be, I think it would be quite uh, uh, interesting to, uh, to bring them on board, and of course trying to involve more and more of the citizens. And um, I'll stop for now. Um, so, uh, yeah, if you, have, uh, uh, if you want to uh, check our website, we have all the technical documents available on, uh, on it. And um, uh, you can always uh, buy us and try to um, answer the technical questions. Thank you.